Imagine that you're driving down a road. You've got the music up, windows down, dog sticking his head out the window. You take one look down, and you look up. Where would you go? Heaven or hell? Why? If I could show you in the scriptures that going to heaven or hell is not a matter of what you do or of what you've done, but what you believe, would you be interested? It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. For I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. For what saith the scripture? Abraham believed God, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all, and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The scripture hath concluded all under sin, that the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. Now the question is, believeth what? And the answer is in Christ and the good news of what he's done for you. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also you have received, and wherein you stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. For he, that's God, hath made him, Christ, to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Now to him that worketh is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. In other words, it's not a matter of what you do, but simple faith and trust in what Christ has done for you on your behalf at Calvary some 2,000 years ago. There was a Philippian jailer that once asked Paul and Silas, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house. The moment you believe the gospel of Christ and put your trust in Him, you're sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise in whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Once God seals something, only He can unseal it. If you've never put your faith and trust in Christ before, I beseech you, do it right now. And if you just put your trust in Christ, I've got great news for you. You're going to heaven whether you like it or not. Give thanks, praise God, and share this truth with others.